All right, yo, dude. <clears throat> yo, dude, we finally got our own lobby. <laughs> After waiting for 25 minutes. What? Controller's broken. After waiting for 25 minutes, we got our own lobby. Look at this. Green bars, baby. Green bars. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, dude? Why are people knifing me in here? We're gonna play a little sweaty at first, see what's going on here. Oh, well, that's not. Yeah, that's not happening. You know what? Today we're using MP5. We're going old school today. No one grabbed the bomb, but it's okay because we got green bar, right? Here we go, boys. Let's get in it. I'm a, oh. Oh. Don't shoot me from my right side. Don't shoot me from my right side. Alright. Nade this. He might run, so we're going to pay attention to this. Look at that, dude. There's no recoil on this thing. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. You ready for it? Ready for it? Ready for it? Dude, look at this, dude. This thing is nasty, bro. He's up top. Dude, this control is broken. This control is broken. Is that him? Look, look at this gun, man. It's so sexy. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, he ninja it, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Yo. Don't change. It does not change. COD 4, MWR. Yo, cream pie. What? Cream pie pudding. You need to put a sock in it, bro. There, there's a UAV for yourself. Go at it. Oh my god. Two left. One has jammer. And you're taking a bomb over here, so I'm gonna come back you up, bro, because I got your back. Don't know where you're going, cream pie. But I'm gonna check AFK just for a quick second. All right, so he's gonna look to ninja it again, right? Is this the ninja guy? This is the ninja guy. Pay attention to it. Pay attention to it. Unless they're on the same team. Okay. Wasn't quite sure what I was looking at. <laughs> was not quite sure what I was looking at. Um, yo, but hopefully everyone's happy in this lobby. No one wants to leave. I'm happy we got full green bars and uh, yeah, this should look to be uh, an enticing day of COD 4. Looking to play with this MP5 red dot, man. It's so nice, dude. My controller, on the other hand, needs to go, but... You know, this is just fine. Alright, one's around to the left. Okay, right here. You should poke out. Don't know what you're doing, but you're dead. And then... Lost guys over here. Come up top. I thought he was in there. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. How good it feels to play this game. A boo -doo 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 -doo. Dude, they've got to be mad. They're like, this piece of shit connection. F this. F that. Hey, I waited for 30 minutes, man, to get this bad boy, so I ain't complaining. Uh, hey, this, guy, this guy's not dead yet.
This guy's AFK. Wait, there's two more. There's a jammer somewhere. I ran past them, buddy. And they, they just smoked themselves out. I feel like I'm being set up right now. Oh, Claymore. Where was that? Back here? I didn't see anything in there. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, this guy's gonna wait all day for this. Oh man, dude. Some things change and some things don't. That's little Peckerwoods taking out Claymore and the bomb up there and just hiding. Come on, cream pie. Look at this guy, M4. I think it sounds nasty. Should we just go up here? Yeah, look at cream pie right behind me. Sky, dude, I, where was the claymore at? I heard a claymore and... <laughs> Where's the kill cams though? Oh man. 10 and 1? Not bad. Although this guy's gonna sit back there again, a little claymore and whatever else he has. That was a new tube. Whoa, incoming. Could be dead here. Here, where'd this guy go? Yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing, man. This, this guy should be dead up here. That guy should be dead. And then we have this guy over here again. Oh, dude. It's lit right now, boys. It's actually lit, dude. This cream pie just got cream pie on. Oh. There's that. I'm, I'm running, dude. All right, come on, come on, come on, come down. What are you doing up here still? What are you waiting for? For me to kill you from behind? <laughs> Is that what you're waiting for? Is that what you're waiting for? You doofus. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, what do we get? 14 yo 14 kills let's go mp5 red dot man this gun was the business dude mp5 red dot bro <laughs> oh man i'm gonna do a comparison between mwr and cod 4 10 years later a decade later 2017 versus 2007 yeah you guys can be the differentials and say this is what was this and this is what was that you guys can make up your own minds and you can type it in the comment section. Let me know what you see the difference of. <laughs> I know a lot of you used the MP5 Red Dot and a lot of you didn't, but but we're going to switch from COD 4 2007 to 2017 MWR. Same gun, same attachment. We're going to be using a Red Dot today. Um, as you'll notice, I'm not on my Herbhead account. I'm on a different name. Um, a, little go, a little incognito today. I guess people don't really know who this is. Maybe it's a knockoff. Maybe it's not. Maybe no one gives a shit. Hopefully they don't. But in the end, we are on a different name today. Uh, We're not on Herbhead. Um, I was trying to get this account leveled up, so I figured why not just get some recordings in at the same time. But um, 
Yeah, so we're going to be going over the red dot. I mean, we just went over, we just saw the gameplay from COD 4 with the red dot. Obviously, it seems like the uh, the, the, red, the fire rate's a little bit faster. Uh, the recoil's definitely less. Um, this gun absolutely melts in COD 4. There's no doubt about it that this, this was the god gun of COD 4. Um, it's still a great gun in MWR, don't get me wrong. It's still a great gun, whether it's silenced or with a red dot. I think you need to baby it just a little bit more because of the sway and the recoil that the MB5 does give off. Uh, the, I mean, there's no comparison between the 74U and, and the Red Dot MP5. There really isn't. Um, still a great gun. You have to be careful with your distance shots with MP5. Um, if you know how to shoot it, you can still hear your shots, but when you're trying to compare those two guns together, I really don't think there's a comparison. But we're not here doing that. We're here talking about the MP5. So um, there's just something about this gun that the only reason why you really do enjoy using it is because the love you had for it in COD 4. And I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not really because this gun is so special to use because it's amazing in this game, which it's really not. It's not the greatest SMG. It's just the fact of using an MP5 again in hopes that it's going to, you know, fill that void of what, of what this game lacks, of what MWR lacks. And it definitely lacks a lot, but trying to fill the void of, you know, using the MP5 again and, and the red dot and, you know, kind of rekindling those memories that we had 10 years ago for a lot of us, which is kind of crazy to think about. But I think that's the kind of joy that we get from using this gun in MWR. And that's kind of like what we're trying to trying to fill the void with and miss. Um, I don't know if you guys just noticed, but we just dropped the airstrike to get another airstrike. I knew he was there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are paying attention to this or just listening to me rant. But, um, yeah, we just... Killed one guy, set that up, and then we dropped the airstrike on the other guy. Um, kind of clever. It kind of worked out, which is kind of cool for the video. Um, not quite sure if you guys caught that, but I wanted to point that out. So we're holding on another airstrike. Um, again, just kind of cruising through, enjoying the red dot. Um, I'm not I'm not really wanting to get into like long-distance shots with it. You know, I'm not, I don't have the greatest aim with it, especially coming from like a 74U where it's completely different than using like a red dot and a no attachment type of thing. Uh, the movements are different. Running with the MP5 was a, a big thing in COD 4, and I know that you know running with MP5 in this game feels a lot different, and it's really nostalgia also. So there's just these key points when using MP5 isn't so much that it's a great gun in MWR. It's more of just trying to relive the memories of you know COD 4, and I really think that's just like the surprise and and the uh, adrenaline that you kind of get from using this gun. Not so much that it's just OP and it's it melts people and it's it's so strong and powerful, but it's it's really not. The 74U is a god gun in this game, but I think we can all agree on this. Using MP5 is just really kind of reliving in, in the old memories type of thing. That's why a lot of people stuck with it. You know, they didn't want to give it up, and just why a lot of people use it. It's actually super weird for, you know, using this account right now because I don't have dead silence, and I hate, I hate running Search and Destroy without dead silence. I, I absolutely hate it. Um, I really think it has to do with the sounds on this game. They're completely different than they were on, on different CODs. Oh, well, specifically COD 4, which is like all I played. Um, and I just not having dead silence really annoys me for some reason. I don't know why. I, if it's a sound that I'm listening to or knowing that people just sound whore all day. So it's just I hate running without dead silence. And so using this class, using this account is super weird because I don't have dead silence, don't have three frags, don't have any of the classes or the perks that I use with my setup. So it's it's really... The grind is trying to get to that, what is it, 41 and like 44? Is it 41 for 3 frag and like 44 for dead silence? Is that what it is? I don't even know because I've only done it once, you know what I mean? But so even just using this right now is super like unorthodox for me. Running through it without dead silence, you know, the, the timing's different. I'm used to running with dead silence and knowing my timing's on that. I don't ever run with um, extreme conditioning. So it's just really different using this account right now. Um, more so getting some some mp5 footage in which was great for you guys hopefully you can see the comparison between the two and see that this gun is still it's still decent it still you know drops to people does a lot of damage um obviously the recoil patterns are completely different um i think the the fire rate's a little bit slower in this game too as well it's also really hard to judge how good or bad the mp5 and mwr is because of the way the game is because of the way the hit reg is and the desync and how i think that how broken this game is as a remastered version of of COD 4, uh, it's really hard to judge um, how good or bad the gun is just based off of like you know the game and how uh, the mechanics are and how the perks are implemented into the systems of like how Jug is a really big factor in this game. Where 
as in COD 4, Jug wasn't really a thing. No one really used Jug back then. It was mainly just stopping power. So the game has definitely changed. The perks have definitely made more of an impact or less of an impact, and I think that really has to do with um, not really the guns being overpowered or less powered, just the perks kind of taking over the game because of the, of the mechanics and how this game is kind of you know unbalanced, very much unbalanced. So just keeping that into account, I think it's it's good to keep those eyes open because it keeps you aware of you know it's not it's not the guns that are OP. It's really the mechanics of the game that justifies of how uh, the guns are being overran and the perks that are implemented and, and how they really take effect into how the game is being played. It'd be even more interesting to see if and when they do a remastered version of MW2 and how the game's going to turn out. I know that this game is so far from COD 4 and it's obvious for the people who've played COD 4, we, we all know what we're all talking about, but for the ones who never played COD 4 and this was their first Call of Duty Modern Warfare experience, you know, they, they absolutely love this game. This is all they know, and I give them the credit for that. But for all of us who played MW2 and who want a remastered version, I think we have to be open to the fact of them really just ruining the game, essentially. I mean, granted, I think that this was a last-minute uh, stumble for them. I think that they kind of scrapped this together to save their necks from uh, IW really flopping. And uh, I think that's kind of what MW2 might be essentially it's going to be a last minute thing for them they're just going to kind of scramble and get the you know the remaster version together and it's going to be hopefully not but it could be just a completely broken game and they could ruin it for all of us but you know in the end I think we just need to be happy with what we get you know I think we all wanted to play COD 4 again and we have it here and we uh, kind of overlooked that sometimes so uh, I think as long as we stay and keep our eyes open and you know, are happy that we can get, you know, an MW2 remastered and play for what it is and what they give us and just be content with that. But overall, I hope you guys like the comparison between the two of COD 4 MP5 and MWR MP5. There's definitely pros and cons of both, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay today. I want you guys to drop in the comment section what are the pros and cons of you guys seeing and using both MP5 and COD 4 and MWR. Also drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.